the performance of WZ-8 is specially designed to penetrate the U.S. air defense network. A new generation of high-speed, long-endurance drones powered by low-cost jet engines has entered military service in China. And part of their job is to lure the U.S., among other nations, into an arms race where the real trap lies in the budget. The thing that sets the new Chinese drones apart from other models is the low cost of their power source. A new low-cost engine for Chinese drones has cut the price to less than 20% of the international figure. A few days ago, a detailed performance parameter of China's WZ-8 reconnaissance aircraft broke out on social media. In addition to the fuzzy data on the number of high-speed and ultra-high-altitude flights that everyone knows, this time the specific data is directly listed. It came out, and gave a statement that WZ-8 can maneuver at an altitude of 100 kilometers, which is beyond expectations. The performance of WZ-8 is completely beyond expectations. Specially designed to penetrate the U.S. air defense network, WZ-8 is a high-altitude and high-speed unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. Everyone knows this. The aircraft with delta wings and winglets is 11 meters long, with a wingspan of 6.7 meters and a height of 2.2 meters. The author estimated its aspect ratio. Only 0.93, it is indeed an aircraft born for speed. Its combat method is to use H-6K to take it to high altitude and then release it. The range can reach more than 3,000 kilometers. Its purpose is mainly designed to scout the Guam base and Diego Garcia base in the second island chain of the U.S. military. The online data is relatively vague. The person who announced the detailed parameters this time is the Weibo Military Tycoon Flying Military Iron Vest. The specific performance parameters of WZ-8 have been classified by the author as follows. The maximum flight distance of the WZ-8 is about 3,000 kilometers. It can maneuver at an altitude of up to 100 kilometers. The flight duration at Mach 4, 5 and 6 is 45, 30 and 16.5 minutes respectively. The power plant of WZ-8 uses two YF-50A type liquid rocket engines. The engines have been upgraded to extend the running time. WZ-8 can carry reconnaissance radar and multi-channel satellite communication equipment, and can provide guidance for DF-21 and DF-26. According to the available information, the PLA Air Force has used WZ-8 to conduct multiple reconnaissance operations in multiple directions. The Flying Military Iron Vest is certified as a well-known military blogger. The data he released is still credible. In addition to the shooting height of anti-aircraft missiles, it is basically tailored to penetrate the U.S. air defense system. Patriot anti-aircraft missile has a maximum combat range of 80 to 100 kilometers. But its maximum shooting height is only 25 kilometers, so there is nothing to do about the WZ-8 flying at an altitude of 40 kilometers. Of course, it does not mean that the flying height of WZ-8 has already made anti-aircraft missiles helpless. Because theater anti-missile weapons such as THAAD and Standard 3 can still be shot down, but a mere reconnaissance plane actually wants to use theater anti-missile weapons to intercept. The chicken is overkill, and there are relatively few deployment areas for such high-level theater air defense missiles, and the US air defense system is full of loopholes. The second more critical data is that the duration of flying at Mach 4, 5 and 6 is 45, 30 and 16.5 minutes respectively. This means that the maximum penetration speed of WZ-8 can reach more than Mach 6. And the PAC, the maximum interception speed of the 3 Patriot missile is only Mach 5, and it doesn't even have the speed of the WZ-8. Not only can it not reach the height, but it can't even reach the speed. Up to Mach 8.8 .8 and higher SM-3 standard series missiles to intercept. The third data that surprised everyone is the flight altitude given. The blog post stated that it can maneuver at an altitude of 100 kilometers. From a theoretical point of view, this is not a big problem, because WZ-8 uses two YF-50A improved liquid rocket engines, and the fuel used is unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine and dinitrogen tetroxide. I can find out that YF-50 is a common orbit control engine, such as Shenzhou spacecraft and Tiangong space station orbit change power will use this engine. This kind of engine belongs to the squeeze cycle. 
Generally, it is a kind of engine that injects fuel and oxidant into the rocket combustion chamber with a high pressure cylinder. The disadvantage of the squeeze cycle engine is that the specific impulse is relatively low. But the advantage is that it has good repeated start performance and is very reliable. So it is often used in occasions that require repeated starts, such as track lifting and track change control. WZ-8 uses an improved version of YF-50A. Aircraft using this kind of engine can work in a vacuum, so theoretically speaking, it seems that the WZ-8 can fly to an altitude of 100 kilometers. As long as the fuel is sufficient and the climbing curve is suitable, there will be no problem. WZ-8 guidance to strike aircraft carriers, both DF-21 and DF-26 have aircraft carrier versions. WZ-8 is used to scout US aircraft carriers and provide guidance data. This process is more interesting. This requires WZ-8 to have relatively strong stealth performance. Because the US military, the aircraft carriers and destroyers of the aircraft carrier strike group are equipped with phased array radars. As well as the SM-3 standard series of Madrange anti-missile missiles, so they must have certain stealth performance. The attack process may be like this. The reconnaissance satellite locks the position of the aircraft carrier. The H-6K that is patrolling in the theater launches WZ-8 and flies near the aircraft carrier for reconnaissance. And the DF-21 is launched shortly afterwards, when WZ-8 flies near the aircraft carrier battle group the multiple warhead dispenser of the ballistic missile is waiting to be released. WZ-8 scans and locks the position of the aircraft carrier of the US military through radar, and transmits it to the missile through the data link. At this time, the ballistic missile has entered the descent stage. This is the first guidance. According to the inertial navigation data provided by WZ-8, the warhead is moving towards the target at a speed exceeding Mach 20. At this time, WZ-8 will continue to track the aircraft carrier dynamics, and modify the latest position at any time to pass it to the warhead and control the maneuver to correct the trajectory. The U.S. media Washington Post reported on April 18 that according to documents leaked by the U.S. military, the People's Liberation Army High Altitude Supersonic Reconnaissance Plane WZ-8 has taken off from the drone base in the mainland, arrived in the Taitung waters, and passed through Taiwan. It has never announced that the Taiwan Puppet Air Force or Air Defense Radar did not find this drone at all. This also means that WZ-8 may have considerable stealth properties. The performance of WZ-8 is specially designed to penetrate the U.S. air defense network.